Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to Serlem Ultimate, where we have a bit of a... Just a bit of cleanup to do uh, before we go back to King Dumpling Farming. We are staying with our uh, usual animator party, which we have been using to get through these uh, high-level floors. We have already rolled for ourselves a good item bonus for the next floor. So I think it's... Uh, I don't think there's anything we needed to do beforehand. We've got our... Uh, we've got our uh, bounty set. We, uh, we're, uh, we've got our projects running. Our... Uh, Goblet is already uh, making progress. All right, so let's just let's just go to a random realm. Sounds good to me. All right, what's uh, what's going on here? Here in the uh, Temple of Lies. It's uh, the is the exit. All right, Oop, easy. What are we dealing with? Oh, this is a... This is... Feeling like a nice, gentle floor. We might even summon some divination... Candle enemies. But let's first see how... Things go in the rest of the floor. Because we're killing the enemies... Pretty... Easily, and also... The... Oh, hey, nice trait. Rise above. Already we have something to celebrate uh, in this episode. Now, what the hell is Rise Above? Whoo, okay. Alright. This could be and a 34% health bonus. Can we. Uh, I was like, can we rename it? right here but no we've got to we've got to go to the blacksmith this i think is a uh, i mean I, I, that that's reasonable that you wouldn't be able to do it in the middle of a realm because i think the way the game explains it is that the blacksmith does something to the stone which puts whatever mark you want on it, so it, it makes sense that you can't do it yourself based on, you know, the game's own sort of internal logic, but at the same time, by, am I really gonna remember by the time I get back to the realm? Actually, this one I might remember because this one strikes me as a uh, very useful thing for our build. Let's just uh, do this and rabbit dementia can finish the job. Then the question then becomes who would equip that? Or And also, how often are, are people getting healed? Pretty often, because they are gaining maximum health. And then they are healing back that maximum health through Archangel's Blessings. And then that healing is going to give them more maximum health. But I feel like we're just... Uh, Adding slightly to a system that was already scaling very well. So now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it won't... Like, it'll help us scale earlier. Like, we could stop scaling maybe one turn earlier and then focus on doing damage. But... I mean, it's certainly... Like, I'm finding reasons to, you know, pick holes into it. <clears throat> it does work with our build. But I feel like the best things would be not things that necessarily 
make the things we're already doing slightly better, but rather things that add an entirely new element to our build. Oh, you're right, we can't really farm for whites, can we? Because we're not shutting down... Resurrections. That's... Let's summon one group. Because I'm not doing those those ones that attack five times after they die, because that would be just excruciating to have to sit through. Alright, let's keep on going. All right, now let's see how this goes. Alright, this this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. Excuse me. Pardon me. This isn't so bad, and because this is probably going to be a shorter episode, we'll, uh... We'll not go that hard after we, uh... deal with the nether boss. So, uh, I think we'll be fine if we spend a bit of time Trying to get this card business uh, dealt with as well. Going, just as a reminder, um, prioritizing the card sets that give you resource bonuses. I have already done the Griffin set. I have already also done both of the sets that give you energy bonuses. And uh, energy, because that is the uh, resource that we had the least of, because we spent so much of it summoning uh, divination candle enemies and re-rolling realm properties. <laughs> Sometimes we, you know, might almost re-roll it a hundred times in one go. It's not uncommon to go several dozen re-rolls before we end up with an item bonus that I'm satisfied with. You know, I have very high standards when it comes to that, and when you're spending that much energy, it can be tough to build up a stockpile. But now that we've boosted the rate at, we're, at which we're getting... I mean, the term in the game is power, but I've been calling it energy, and that's probably gonna, that's probably gonna continue. And it means kind of the same thing, so I don't even feel like I'm, you know, saying something horribly wrong by calling it energy instead of power, but yes, now that we have all of the uh, power uh, boosting bonuses working together, the rate at which we're getting power is uh, quite pleasing to me. I love that start of battle arbitration. What I do not love is getting <laughs> snared at the start of battle, but You know what? You snare us, we snare you. Alright, are they healing? No, they're... I mean, this is irritating, but I think... Basically, we need multiple people to get a turn in one go. You piece of shit. Piece of fucking shit. Alright, greater dispel. Alright. Now... Copying our spell gems. Okay, uh, what are we gonna do? Well, first of all, what is your trait? At the start of battle. Yeah, you know what? That's annoying. I'm gonna get rid of that. And please... They're, they are all snared, so that's good. Um, now, just use your macro. Oh, you piece of shit. We have less healing in this realm, which is why our Archangel's Blessings are not... Oh, what? Aren't accomplishing anything for us. Uh, 
here. Let's let's end this farce. Annoying battle, but well, actually, no. I, I I take that back. It wasn't annoying. It was challenging. It wasn't a trash mob fight. It was a master fight. Y like you can't play this game and and act so entitled. <coughs> Excuse me. So entitled that you feel like even these special encounters should be cakewalks. Right? That's that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Right, we have a prophecy for Riddle Dwarves. Uh, sadly, I do have to take this one seriously. I think this is sorcery, but let me check. Let me check. Ooh, a chaos. Okay, I would have gotten that wrong, so it's a good thing I did check. Let's go up and around. Where are these final robes? We also have 11 of our own. Well, mostly our own summon creatures, but I guess this final uh, native realm enemy as well. What are you going to give us? Hey, 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 hey. Hey! Dude, that's... That's our trait. That's whoa. That is the uh, the trait that uh, we use by default on our uh, dread white. Now that we have this on another stone, this gives us a free trait. Let's fucking go. Oh my! I, my mind is already swirling with ideas. We have that as a free trait now. Uh, sadly, you've done a bunch of garbage. Oh my goodness. My goodness gracious. Man, I'm gonna have to... We might have to spend an entire episode just thinking about what to do with this. Because this is huge. This is huge. Whoa! What is going on? What is... Backup, backup? What is going... Well, I mean, I know what's going on, and I give myself credit, because I've gone out of my way to, uh... Eh, I mean, we do attack... We do attack pretty often with my, uh... Um... Animators, but I'm not sure if dire wolves necessarily dire wolves necessarily is going to help us that much. That woe is a. Here's the other thing, we could give woe to the dread white. Okay, that's obvious. We could also give woe to another creature, and everybody has feign death. Everybody in our party has feigned death. So, instead of casting Reincarnation on the Dread White and wasting one of his limited amount of resurrections, because after a certain point the game will just not allow you to resurrect anymore, which is a bit arbitrary, but you can see why such a rule exists, because otherwise you might be in a situation where uh, the battle literally will not end, especially if the game is stuck in a loop, because there are some uh, traits that will kill and other traits that will resurrect, and we've seen them interact in uh, hilarious ways. We've been able to laugh at this because eventually the game does stop it, whereas if it got stuck in a permanent loop and we had to, you know, control all delete the game, would have been... Uh, Somewhat less uh, amused by it. But yeah. That's a... A long... Uh, you know... Bit of a... Conversational detour that I took there. <laughs> explaining the whole uh, resurrection cap mechanic. But the point I was building towards is that... Now... Even our other... Well, one of our other creatures. If, if we equip them 
with this uh, nether stone that has woe as a trait on it, we could, uh, we could make some real magic happen. And I wasn't joking when I said we might have to spend an entire episode just sitting here thinking about what to do with this, because this is a... I mean, you can freely swap out nether stones, they're not like other materials. If you socket one into an item, and you unsocket it, the only thing you're losing is the, uh, the brimstone that you paid in the process. So it's not like we have to be that careful, like, oh, if we, if we socket it in, we'll lose it permanently. But we do want to be careful. In the sense that... Any sort of change we make might sort of disrupt the, uh, the, the balance of our build a little bit. Even something small like the stat bonuses we're losing might change things in a way that's hard to predict. One thing I did like about this is, in addition to it having the trait woe, this nether stone... Oh god, now I'm, go I'm gonna have to... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna have to remember which one it was. If I forget... Because... Like, if I can't find it in the list, I'm gonna have to, uh, go back and watch this video, and, uh, I'm gonna watch this video and, uh, see which one it was on the list. It was 200-something. Let me, let me try and find it, if it's taking too long I'll stop but I think it might have been 200 oh god there's so so many uh, 200 uh, rise above I remember that one I think it was uh, 200 because the only thing it had was uh, okay no okay it's still marked as being new it was 185 I'm actually gonna where's my phone I'll have to put my, my. There we go. I'm just gonna. I am worried about taking screenshots while OBS is active because uh, it seems like any small thing you do that even vaguely involves your computer display can sometimes make it crash. So I don't want to take that risk. I will literally just take a picture of this with my phone. Lustrous trinket. Ooh, blah, blah. No. You know what? The other thing, I, the other thing I could do because I'm literally over here is uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I can also like lock the stuff, right? All right you know what? Why did I have those ones? I'll, I'll have to look at them, but anyway, uh, 185. Let's call it... Whoa. Let's call it, where's the capital W? Whoa. And health. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is the, uh, yeah. Where is... Health. <clears throat> I'm just gonna... Do this. I should have been uh, doing this with, uh... Every nether stone I picked up that seemed like it had a useful trait. And where's the H? Come on. Uh, 
There we go. Do we, do we get an achievement for that? No? Okay. Never mind, it's fine. Alright. Now... <clears throat> excuse me. This is another early morning recording session, and sometimes... Early morning... Uh, it can take my... Sort of vocal apparatus a little bit to get warmed up. So, do not mind the... Uh, the throat clearing, the coughing. Just, just bear it. Just bear with it. We'll all get through it. 351. You know what? Let's try for something better. Let's make 360 the new uh, minimum. Why am I? Okay, maybe that's not a. You know what? I I regret this already. Let's 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 stick with 350. I was just uh, looking at how much energy we've stockpiled, and I was like, oh, we can do better. But then uh, now I'm realizing, I'm remembering, just how quickly you can blow through all of that power that you spent painstakingly stockpiling. We did eventually get our 360, but I think. From uh, next one onwards, we will, uh, we will, oh yeah, and because we beat the Master of Golems for the fifth time, we'll have a costume for that. But what I was going to say was, I'll, I'll stick with my 350. I think that's the, uh, and uh, that's the good one, the good one, that is a good threshold, because it's not that hard to get. And also it gives you good bonus, and if we sometimes, occasionally, get something really good, that'll be fine as well. So now, important to note, we're about to go into a uh, boss fight where they have dodge chance. We're going to be fighting Etta. Don't remember what Etta's deal was. You know what, I should check. Because there are certain bosses that we do have to literally change our build for. Let's go into the codex. Where are you? At? What? Oh, there you are. At the... Start of each enemy's turn. Um, yeah, it's not that. It's not that. It's not even that serious. Let's go into the arachnid nest, though. Just so we have our... Uh, good buffs and debuffs. How close are we to uh, another favorite? I guess we're halfway there, but a lot still to go. 4080, obviously. Forgotten lab. Oh, perfect. Love getting the snare right off the bat. And honestly, this is a pretty easy realm. Pretty easy realm. I'm not even, I'm not even that worried. I'll just use up my just a chance to resist damage. Though is a huge pain. A huge, huge pain. Yeah, I'll just do this. Okay, that's a bunch of garbage. But you're dead. You are dead. There's another boss already. I was like, should we be so bold as to <laughs> just rush into it without even uh, collecting all our buffs and debuffs? Mending, defense, like without even getting our health bonuses. Are we that badass? And you know, I, th I think, I think we should be a little uh, prudent. All right.
All right, come on. Back over six mil for uh, power. Yeah, just a, just attack. Oh well. I uh, yep. That's a good reminder that enemies in this realm have dodge chance. A good reminder. All right. And we've got an exotic realm as well. We'll uh, we'll go into into that pretty soon as well. Let me just. I feel like I've been holding back a cough for like a, a minute straight. Let me just drink some water. Wait, that that does feel better. All right, let's let's carry on. Centaur is being annoyed. Ooh, they're fused with reapers. That could lead to some. Uh, Some, uh, you know, awkward moments because some of the Reapers, like, if we gain too much maximum health and then fall below 30% of our total health as a result, some of those Reapers could give us a hard time. Alright. Three more enemies. Oh, wait, and there's a master as well. We should fight the master before we do anything with the. Uh, the oh, you piece of shit. Oh, and I keep forgetting that they have dodge chance. Okay. Of course, there's going to be a protected enemy. Man. Piece of garbage. Okay. Okay. Good. Ah, that's the, the worst outcome. Okay, alright, just gone a bit quiet here just because, uh, actually, I don't know, no specific reason, I'm just thinking ahead to the boss fight and wondering if there are going to be some issues that I haven't considered. I think we'll be fine. I think our damage reduction should help us. Oh, you're blind? Really? Okay. Alright, let's deal with you pretty quickly. Alright, what's your, uh, what's your deal? Oh, sorry, that was uh, my alarm going off. That, that alarm was originally for the time that I had planned to start this recording session, but I got up so early today that uh, I started this a full... How long has this been going? A full 29 minutes earlier. So, good job, me. What the hell? Oh. Alright, oh, okay, we need to do a blank slate. And, uh, I don't know, man. Do you have any sort of damage? You've used up your reincarnation there. You've used up all your reincarnations there. That's not great. Uh, what was the... It was Polish. Try to get your uh, your thing back. In the meantime, just end this battle with Star Pact. Star Pact, Finger of Death. These are the kinds of things that we're going to have to use to do damage against the boss. Uh, 
and hopefully it works out. Hopefully it works out. Very treasure as well. And we got the good outcome there. Even more health. What's down this long passageway? Just a... Just a few little things. Alright. All right. uh, we'll do the exotic realm first. And you don't have arcane. We should give somebody else star pact so that we have uh, ethereal charges for it. Right? Is that is that a thing that makes sense? Finger of death. And you know what? Let's just for now. Let's just kill these guys with just reincarnation, because these guys aren't a problem. It's the boss that we're going to have to worry about. But... That... Should also be something that can be dealt with. I think. Alright, let's... See how this goes. Alright, so you are snared, we are also... We also have some annoying uh, debuffs, so let's just use Greater Dispel. Now... Clayman on you. Biobot, uh... can start doing Clayman on you. We're gonna have to snare these guys as well pretty soon. In fact, let's do it now. Good, good, good healing. Um, Clayman on you again. Now the fun starts because now we can do double cast Feign Death. But now we are in a bit of a sticky situation because our uh, health is pretty low. So we're gonna get our health back. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. We, we desperately need Maraxxus uh, back. Let's majorly resurrect you. And... Biobot, please do this. Alright, alright. How many times did I... Say, oh, I've got to remind myself, they've got dodge chance. How many times? How many times? Alright. What we can do is just ruin their day a little bit with that. Alright. Nadine Rift Dancer has to do, please, Archangel's Blessing again. Raxus, you are the one with double cast clay man, so do it on do it on this guy, yeah. And Animatus can do um Star Pact, Finger of Death. Let's try Star Pact, see what that does for us. Uh, decent damage. Decent, decent damage. Do you have the clay man? You don't. Okay. Well, 
What can you do? You can do a double cast. Maybe you'll land a lucky hit. <sighs> Landed a couple hits. Ooh, a nice star pack there. Okay, I think that's tipped this battle over the edge. Alright. And what do we get? Nothing special there. We did take something to rank S. Hey, hey, hey! What is this? What is this? Spell Stealer? What is that? Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Uh, not sure about this. It's, we can turn it into piety later. That's a a lot of, a lot of trait nether stones we found in uh, in one episode, including one very useful one, the uh, the woe one, which uh, honestly that that's gonna be a, a whole thing. I've, I've said it multiple times, but it really is gonna be a whole thing. The other thing is gonna be a uh, uh, the uh, the other thing we found, which is potentially useful. Is the uh, the one where you gain maximum health from a uh, healing? Although that one I could I could take or leave. So we're just gonna kill these guys. I'm just gonna do this one group. I've become less inclined to to do this kind of farming, in you know my you know when I'm going down into deep realm depths on high instability just because it can be slow and just because I've seen how quickly you can do this on uh, low levels that's not to say you should play on low levels but if you are playing on low levels anyway for instance you're spending a session just farming for nether portals for the King Dumpling or some other rare nether portal encounter that you really need. Maybe you need to summon that Tanukrook uh, creature or some other thing. And, uh, you know, doing... You could find it on your... Uh, and you're just playing normally as well, but playing normally, chances are... No matter... Like, even if your party is a lot stronger than mine, occasionally, just because of realm instability, Things can get slow, enemies can have extra actions, extra, uh, you know, lives. They can have start of combat stuff due to their fusion traits. Lots of things can happen that can slow you down. Whereas if you're playing on zero instability, which means um, no fusions, and if you're playing on low realm depths, which means everything dies in one hit, you can get through monsters very, very quickly indeed. I've got ten more. Are there any to the right? No reason to go there. Okay. There's a few. Yeah, we'll just kill this group. Then we'll head back, and then I think we'll probably just call it good. A bit, bit of a bit of a shorter episode. Bit of a shorter episode. Then we'll hand it back to the uh, the dumpling party for some more low level farming. But when we do that low level farming, it'll be done in a... Whoa! Okay, what's going on? Why were we seeing that icon over their heads? Because us usually that's what you see when you have a reaper in your party. I mean, now they are all reapers. I, I guess maybe if there's a reaper anywhere in the field, it'll show you that, because some of those reapers can target like their own people as well 
I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, we gotta kill six more. finished let's get this finished just these last few this is always a the part of the episode which is the most you know Difficult to commentate over because you can't start a new long train of thought Because there isn't that much left to do and the you know the realm is gonna end soon and also there's not much to say about what you're doing because it's Something you've seen so much before I will say it is convenient that the last two were by the exit I didn't even plan it this way. I was just kind of killing them blindly. So I'm, uh, I'm glad it worked out the way that it did. One thing I will quickly check is I don't think we found their card because I've been pretty careful in my clicking but let's just check the bestiary. Confirm that indeed the uh, terror white that we are farming. This other icon just means it's uh, something we've summoned just like the dread white but we do not have the card okay anyway let's head back home we've got a project to hand in we have yeah we have gone to the exotic realm for some reason when you encounter with uh, a lot of these objects when you interact with a lot of these objects uh, like nether portals the nether boss uh, thing pandemonium shrines and a few other things. When you uh, when they are no longer on the map, they get taken off. But then this exotic thing, for some reason, stays. And I'm not sure why that is. Maybe just a small oversight. But anyway, we've definitely gone to it. I distinctly remember going to it. We were definitely there. Right. Immediately start another key forge. Take one last look at our rune of prophecies what are we gonna want to do well obviously we're gonna want to find a whole lot of nether realms and we will be well placed to do that and hopefully find some real dwarves hopefully find one more of these guys and the rest of it should be easy to complete with just our low level farming party because there aren't things like this you know you're killing creature masters which you can do you can occasionally get that random encounter but for a reliable way to do this you want to do it on high realm depths the rest of it is just either basic stuff that'll happen naturally or rng stuff that'll uh, also happen naturally by just playing the game enough but yeah that is gonna be all for this episode and it was a uh, very fun and very lucrative episode indeed especially with all of these nether stones that we found Hang on. what was the uh you know what, I'll, I'll look this up myself later i don't want to drag the video on too long searching through our giant list of nether stones and all the traits but we did specially mark one of them because this is out of all the nether stones we found this one wait what went hang on was it not this one wasn't i thought the one that gave us uh i thought the one that gave us whoa also gave like 30 Four percent health. Hang on, I need to rename this because clearly I've been looking at it wrong. It, oh, it must have been the other Nether Stone that we found that had a health bonus. Let me 
give this a, a different name. All right. All right, so. Yeah, I wonder why. So let's just call it Woe for now. And what was the other thing that we found? It was a. Uh, Okay, now I'm sorry, I, I, I am gonna spend a bit of time. Absorption. It was a. Seeing red. Evangelism, flesh wound. Spell stealer, backup, pack up. No, that was not it either. Hang on, I'm just. Just give me a moment, um... This one was the one that gave health, and okay. Yeah, I was, uh... uh if only this one was on the Woe Stone, that would have been perfect. But this one was, uh... Is this good enough? You know what, yeah, it, it is good enough. It is good enough to rename. Call it Rise Above. Space A B O V E B O V E. One other thing to do is let's lock both of those. Oh, oh, also the other thing, um, the reason these two are marked with a star, I think, is because they are currently being used by our party members. So if we go to our, uh, so yeah, this one has a shimmering prism, this one has that shimmering ornament, and if we look... Shimmering Prism, Shimmering Arm. Yeah, those are exactly the ones marked here. So th th that's what it means for uh, something to be marked with a star on that list. But anyway, we've locked those stones, and uh, probably after we are done with our uh, low-level farming, we will then come back to make changes to our build here and see what sort of uh, fun stuff we can do now that we have woe in nether stone form. Th that is the one thing I was waiting for, like a nether stone that is one of the traits we already have. Which gives us a free... Like we can... It's like in Diablo 2... Diablo 3, where you find either an item with a socket in it, or an item that already has some enchantment that you need so that you can then roll a socket on it and then put anything in it. It's, I mean, that might be hard to understand for people who don't know how Diablo 3 works, but that is the kind of feeling that this gives me. You know, the fact, like, just the freedom of getting the thing that I already wanted and then being able to put whatever else I want on it as an extra thing as a result of that. You know, that's just a... That was just my way of explaining just how, just why this is so important. But anyway, um, I think you, if nothing else, just from how excited I was when we found it, will have realized that this is a pretty, a pretty cool thing that happened. So I, I think you'll, I think you'll get the idea. But anyway, that is gonna be all for this episode. Hope you guys. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys will join me for the next episode where we're going to go back on that King Dumpling grind. That's right. Until then, take care. <laughs>